Hello everyone and welcome to yet another informative video from IntelliPark. Today I'd like to introduce you to a key component of our digital world, Online Transactional Processing aka OLTP. While you may not hear much about OLTP in everyday conversation, it plays an important part in our lives, influencing how we shop, bank, travel and engage with innumerable online services. In today's video, we are going to cover everything you need to know about OLTP. But before we begin, I'd like to request you guys to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more such informative videos from the IntelliPath YouTube channel. Now let me quickly take you guys through today's agenda. We'll start by understanding what OLTP is. In order to understand this concept better, we'll move ahead and try to understand the significance of OLTP and why do we need it. After this, we'll be covering another interesting topic closely related to OLTP that is OLAP. Online Analytical Processing. We will be doing a comprehensive study between these two and try to understand the difference between their working and implementations. Finally, we will be looking into the applications of OLTP and with this, we will finally conclude our today's video on OLTP. I hope I have made myself clear with the agenda for today's video. So let's get started with the very first topic on our list. What is OLTP? OLTP stands for Online Transactional Processing. It is a sort of data processing in which transactions are managed and recorded in real time. It is a vital component of many corporate and financial systems as well as e-commerce and other applications that require rapid and precise data processing. OLTP systems are designed to handle a large number of short, quick and discrete transactions, each of which typically involves the retrieval or modification of a small quantity of data. Now we know what OLTP is and what it does. But why do we really need it? The answer to this question is in the characteristics of OLTP. OLTP systems are designed to process data in real time or near real time. When a user makes a request, the system reacts quickly, ensuring that transactions are completed as quickly as possible. OLTP systems are built to support several concurrent users and transactions without causing conflict. This concurrency control assures that numerous users can interact with the system at the same time without affecting each other's data. To ensure data integrity and reliability, OLTP systems adhere to the ACID properties. ACID stands for Atomicity, Consistency, Isolation and Durability. This means that transactions are atomic in nature. They either finish totally or not at all. They are consistent, meaning the database remains consistent before and after the transaction. They are isolated, which means transactions do not interact with one another and hence do not interfere in each other's processing. And they are durable, which actually means that once a transaction is committed, its consequences are permanent even if a system failure occurs. Typically OLTP databases are normalized, which implies that data is arranged into tables to reduce redundancy and assure data integrity. This normalization procedure may include dividing the data into smaller tables and employing relationships like foreign keys to connect similar data. The majority of OLTP systems include read and write operations on individual records or small group of records. These are often simple procedures that require retrieving or modifying certain data entries such as customer orders, inventory levels or account balances. OLTP systems are built to process a large number of transactions per second. This is critical for applications that process thousands if not millions of transactions every day such as banking, retail and airline reservation systems. Now we are very well familiar with OLTP. Let me now introduce you to another online data processing system, OLAP. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing. It is a type of computer processing that allows users to examine and explore multidimensional data contained in databases in real time. It is an important part of business intelligence and data analysis since it enables firms to acquire useful insights from their data by using complex querying reporting and data visualization. OLAP systems are designed to perform read heavy tasks efficiently and to help decision making process by providing users with a strong and flexible means to explore data from many perspectives. Online Transactional Processing or OLTP is frequently mistaken for Online Analytical Processing aka OLAP. Both have similar acronyms and are online data processing platforms. But that's the only thing they have in common. Let's have a look into the differences between these two data processing systems. OLTP is designed to handle online database transactions. 
OLAP on the other hand is designed for complicated data analysis. OLTP is used by frontline workers like cashiers, bank tellers and part-time clerks. While OLAP is used by data scientists, business analysts and knowledge workers to support business intelligence, data mining and other decision support applications. OLTP is also used by customer self-service applications like online banking, e-commerce and travel reservations. Apart from this, there are significant technological differences between OLTP and OLAP systems. OLTP systems employ a relational database which can support a high number of concurrent users as well as frequent queries and updates while providing very rapid response times. OLAP systems make use of a multi-dimensional database which is a type of database built from numerous relational databases that allows for complicated search involving multiple data facts from current and historical data. OLTP queries are often simple and involve only one or a few database records while OLAP queries are sophisticated queries that involve a huge number of records. Response time for OLTP transactions and queries are lightning quick, while OLAP response times are comparatively much slower. OLTP systems often modify data because of the nature of transactional processing, while OLAP systems never modify data in any way. OLTP workloads have a balance of read and write operations, whereas OLAP workloads are primarily read intensive. OLTP databases require a small amount of storage capacity. On the other hand, OLAP databases work with massive datasets and often demand a lot of storage space. OLTP systems require regular or simultaneous backups, but OLAP systems require significantly less frequent backups. Despite these differences, it's worth noting that OLTP systems are frequently used as source of data for OLAP systems. And in many cases, the purpose of OLAP analytics is to improve company strategy and optimize business processes, which can serve as a foundation for making improvements to the OLTP system. OLTP systems are widely employed in a variety of sectors and applications that require real-time, high-throughput transaction processing. Here are some examples of OLTP applications. Banking and financial services rely on OLTP systems to handle tasks such as ATM transactions, fund transfers, account balances and credit card transactions. While processing enormous numbers of transactions, these systems must assure data accuracy and security. OLTP systems are at the heart of retail and e-commerce operations. They handle real-time transactions like sales, inventory management, order fulfillment and payment processing. When you make an online purchase, you are interacting with an OLTP system, which ensures that your order is processed and inventory is updated in real time. Another typical example of OLTP is airline reservation systems, which books flights and manages bookings. To ensure a seat on a flight, these technologies manage real time booking, seat availability checks and payment processing. OLTP is also used in public transportation ticketing systems to process ticket sales handle fare collections and offer real-time information on schedules and seat availabilities. Healthcare uses OLTP systems for patient management, appointment, scheduling and invoicing. They ensure that patient records are kept up to date in real time and that appointments are scheduled in a timely manner. OLTP systems manage reservations, check-ins, check-outs and payment processing in hotel and restaurant industries. They also keep real-time track on room availability and their costs. In the telecommunication industry, OLTP systems perform real-time billing, call processing and service provisioning. They verify that customers are correctly billed and that the services are delivered without interruption. OLTP systems are used by online gaming platforms as well to manage in-game transactions, user profiles and real-time interactions between players. This guarantees a smooth gameplay experience to them. In manufacturing and distribution organizations, OLTP systems are critical for tracking inventory levels, handling orders, and monitoring supply chain operations. They aid in maintaining ideal inventory levels and avoiding stockouts or overstock problems. OLTP systems are used by utility companies to conduct billing and meter reading activities in real time. This comprises utilities such as electricity, water, gas, and other services. These are only a handful of the many applications of OLTP in many sectors. OLTP systems are crucial for maintaining data accuracy, 
assuring data integrity and supporting the day-to-day -day operations of enterprises that rely on real-time transaction processing. That's all we have for this session. I hope you've got a good understanding of online transactional processing, that's OLTP, its applications in our day-to-day -day life, and how it differs from online analytical processing, that is OLAP. Thank you for staying with us till the end. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to our channel to come across more such informative videos from the IntelliPath YouTube channel. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers advanced certification in Microsoft SQL designed by the industry experts. The advanced certification in Microsoft SQL program is meant for developers to master the descriptive language used for relational databases. You will also gain SQL skills that are crucial for excelling in the database management domain. The program is designed to help you master skills such as optimizing database objects, managing database concurrency, and ensuring data integrity. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel, whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of SQL.